Hi, I'm Ruth Breckman, Registered Dietitian. Welcome and thanks for joining me today. Did you make any New Year's resolutions? Did you already forget about them? Learning how to juggle has been on my bucket list for like a million years. Well, this is the year I'm going to learn how to do it. Speaking about resolutions or setting goals, today we're going to learn how to keep your resolutions. Weight loss is always a biggie, right? Do you want to lose weight this year or do you know someone who wants to lose weight? It just so happens I'm a professional loser. I help people lose weight for a living. If you want more energy, better health, and maybe even fit into the clothes in the back of your closet, stick around. Here's my five tips to increase the likelihood of successful weight loss. However, this also works for any goal that you set. Number one, start the year with hope and a positive attitude. A past fear of failure is often an excuse to not even try. Failing is unpleasant and depressing. If losing weight has been unsuccessful in the past, there's a chance that it won't work this time. The fear may never completely go away. Jump right in and go for it anyway. A positive attitude goes a long way in life. Yes, I am definitely going to learn how to juggle this year. Number two, set goals and keep moving forward. It's important to stay focused. Lose two to three pounds a month. In a year, that's 24 to 36 pounds. If the goals aren't met, hit the reset button. Maybe one pound a month is doable. 12 pounds a year is fantastic. People don't realize that it takes a lot of patience and perseverance to lose weight. Realize that there will be ups and downs, but the struggle will be worth it. Maybe smaller clothes and less medications. It's important to write down your goals and put them where you see them every day. I'm starting with one ball, then two balls, then three balls. Number three, make rules and stick to them. If sugar's your thing, limit and enjoy 100 calories of chocolate a day to not feel deprived. Have one cocktail at parties instead of two or three. If one bite of pasta means consuming three or four servings, then it's better to avoid pasta completely. Those calories can add up quickly. For juggling, I am committed to practicing two minutes three to four times a week. Number four, no excuses. There's always going to be a reason to quit and give up. A stressful situation is often the trigger to start emotional eating. Eating comfort foods is a learned behavior and becomes a soothing escape from reality. Identify the problems. What triggers are there that result in overeating? Do you head for that vending machine after a stressful day at work? What action can be taken to solve the problem? How about bringing fruit to work instead? Sometimes it takes being a detective to figure out what's really going on. And finally, number five, acknowledge accomplishments instead of self-sabotaging with destructive behaviors. People are often harder on themselves than they would be with others. Thinking and saying kind words about yourself goes a long way to staying in control. Take pleasure in small changes. Losing one to two pounds is better than gaining one or two pounds. For me, other people can juggle. I got this. Try these tips. Success starts today. If you'd like my help losing weight or learning how to eat healthier, grab a copy of my book, The Food is My Friend Diet, from my website, ruthfreckman.com, and also my ebook, The Food is My Friend Quick and Easy Diet Cookbook on Amazon. For long-lasting success, it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. In the meantime, would you like to join me on my juggling journey? Grab some Pauls. We got this. It's also a fun way to burn some calories. Let's stay in touch. I will keep you updated on my juggling progress throughout the year. Who knows, maybe by the end of the year, I will be juggling chainsaws. I don't think this is going to be easy, but I'm willing to make the commitment. The same may be true for your weight loss journey. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button and make a commitment. I'd love to hear from you. What can you start doing today? Pick one thing. Don't forget.
forget to check out some other videos on my nutrition about nutrition and weight loss on my channel, Ruth Freckman. Have an awesome year and keep on juggling. <laughs>